Robey, R-O-B-E-Y, representing myself. I am a former board member of one of the largest associations in Las Vegas. I tried to write for the last 10 days my opinion of this bill, and every time I got to the end, I tore it up and threw it away because I could not understand what this bill was about. One of the first things that we have to have in NRS 116 is the ability of the homeowner, the homeowner, without reach, reaching out to get a lawyer, to have a chance to understand what the law says. I really appreciate Mr. MacArthur's comments today, his questioning, his asking, and, 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 and Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your questions. Mr. Carrillo, I appreciate your questions. You dug down and you tried to find the answers, and I'm glad you did that. I now understood why I couldn't get it. When I file a complaint against a violation of NRS 116 and what it says, I am now going to go into mediation against my association with their lawyer to get a definition of NRS 116. I'm sorry Mrs. Lavelle left here because shortly, and this is a little anecdotal story, several years ago I was sitting at a board meeting and I said this board meeting is not legal. Ms. Lavelle was sitting on my right. She had been called in to this supposedly illegal meeting. Everybody on that board, all other eight board members, were astonished when she agreed with me that it was an illegal meeting. Why can't people read and understand NRS 116? Because of the way this thing is written, I assume, or they don't want to. The problem with this enforced mediation, whether it's an NRS 116 issue or whether it is an issue dealing with the governing documents, who says the other side is going to do it in good faith? Their lawyer is getting paid by the hour. I know. Mr. Carrillo asked a question. What is my opinion of how NRED operates? I don't have a problem with NRED. I have a problem with the fact that the attorneys for the associations have no obligation to operate in a speedy manner. I have two complaints that have been verified, have been forwarded up, once in the AG's office, and one is waiting for the commission to hear it. It's been two and a half years on both complaints. Thank you very much for doing nothing. It's not your fault, gentlemen. It is what is the system. Neither one of those complaints are going to cost me a dime. They're not going to cost my homeowners association a dime. What it is, it's a simple thing to read and understand NRS 116. I am appalled that Mr. I believe it's Mike O'Donnell, the former senator who lives at Paradise Spa and he brought in an 81 year old lady who's losing her house and the whole thing is going into foreclosure. I'm sorry he's not here today. I have talked to the gentleman on the phone. Uh, Mr. Ryan, right. again, I, I want to I appreciate your testimony. I appreciate all the challenges you have to overcome. You're taking the time to come to the Sawyer building. But I want to keep the testimony to this bill, not any derogatory comments to towards current legislators, former legislators, witnesses, lobbyists. No, Mr. O'Donnell testified. I, I'm only saying that he testified in front of the Senate subcommittee or the Senate uh, Judiciary Committee. It's under menace of the record. All right. And he okay. said, go ahead then. Yeah, no, I'm not criticizing him at all. But he was representing people from Paradise Spa where he lives. And there's nothing in this bill that's going to save his home or the lady's home. I hope you all watch the television reports of the people in Las Vegas who have been reported on Channel 13 and Channel 8 with the booting, the houses burned down, the insurance not being paid, the people having 
gate problems, the people having wall problems. It, is, it goes on and on. And what in this bill, where is there a solution to homeowners associations bullying the owners? There is no answer. It goes on and on. After the mediation, then they are forced into arbitration, then they're forced into bankruptcy. How is a gentleman who's making $30,000 a year, who owns a little condo and has two children, going to afford $1,000 to fight his HOA? He doesn't have the money. And I thank you for your time. And please think of the little people, not the people who are fortunate. Thank you. Mr. Roby, I appreciate your comments. I think you made an excellent point. You're right. He probably won't be able to afford it. And a lot of people might be afraid of file a complaint under this. I think you made an excellent point. Any questions for Mr. Carrillo or Mr. MacArthur for Mr. Roby? Thank you, Mr. Roby, for taking the time to be here today. With the next witness, please.